Well, you've seen this Keychron keyboard and Mint keycaps throughout my channel's Linux content, I'm moving on. My new desk setup requires a smaller, more compact board that is also quieter. The kind team at Red Dragon sent me their K708 Pro Mechanical Keyboard. This feature-rich board possesses a beautiful design that aligns perfectly with my preferred aesthetic. Red Dragon's seeking esteemed status in gaming peripherals inspired by the eastern view of dragons, not the western, and while their keyboards are targeted for Mac and Windows users, we're going to see how it stacks up with my Linux. Setup. The K708 Pro offers triple connectivity and features a compact 81 key layout with TFT display and control knob. It's fully hot swappable and built with a gasket mount and five layers of padding for a quiet cushion typing experience. Finished off with durable PBT keycaps and customizable RGB backlighting. Despite often being priced under 100 US dollars, the unboxing experience feels truly premium. The box contains the essentials including four extra switches, the necessary tooling for switch removal and replacement, and a USB-C cable for either wired connection or charging the board. The extra switches are packaged securely, yet are easy to access and swap. Their presentation also reinforces the keyboard's premium feel. Even the tooling feels premium, echoing the quality found in higher-end boards. I'll be using the USB-C cable mainly for charging, sticking to a wire-free setup. And of course, if you want some light reading, a detailed manual is included. From a design perspective, this board weighs in just under 2 pounds and measures about 13 by 5 inches. Despite its size, it feels extremely durable, and I absolutely love the aesthetic. Red Dragon truly nailed the look of this board. Let me know your thoughts on the design of this board, though, in the comments below. Overall, the presentation right out of the box has won me over. I really like the look, the feel, and all of the features that are packed into this board, which we'll touch on here in a bit shortly. But overall, the board looks very nice, it feels premium in the hand, and looking all around this board, they spared no attention to detail. Again, you have that triple connectivity, you have the USB-C there for your charging or connectivity as I mentioned. You also have some pretty nice adjustable feet and stands here on the back of the board, and I really like the grip that is applied to the back of the board, ensuring that it does not slip on your desk or your setup. This is definitely a nice feeling board in the hands, and I can't wait to dive right into using this. I'd be remiss to mention there's also some cool stickers in the box. But how does this board perform with my Linux setup? I've been testing it across several distros while finalizing my new PC build, and my experience has been great. The silent access switches combined with the five sound dampening layers significantly reduce keystroke noise. This quiet operation is perfect for places like libraries, or in my case, my late night desk sessions. This impressive dampening makes for an excellent and comfortable typing experience during long work days. Coming from my history with Mac and Apple's much smaller wireless keyboards, I often found my previous Keychron a bit fatiguing to use. This board's more compact footprint is exactly what I prefer and it's perfectly sized for my daily use. As a result, I've been extremely satisfied with the comfortable and familiar typing experience. As I noted, this board is feature packed, especially with the included control knob. I absolutely love it simply for quickly adjusting the volume on my custom PC. It's silent, rolls smoothly, and feels premium. The knob and display also allow you to control settings like language, lighting effects, and even a GIF mode. While I can't access Red Dragon software on Linux like you can on Windows, the built-in settings provide everything I need, making the experience perfectly functional for my daily Linux usage. The color options and effects look great. The RGB offers a bright yet balanced glow. It adds just a touch of color, which I appreciate as I usually avoid heavy RGB builds, making the aesthetic perfectly suitable for my setup. And while I can't change the GIF given I don't have access to the software like I mentioned, this GIF included from Red Dragon just looks nice and adds another touch to the overall aesthetic and look. The 4000 mAh battery delivers on Red Dragon's promise of over 20 hours with RGB on and 130 plus hours off. Charging is quick and I've only needed to charge it once after a full busy week of use switching between my work MacBook and my custom PC. I've successfully used this keyboard across Pop! OS, Cosmic, Ubuntu, Fedora, and several other distros. While not officially advertised for Linux, I can safely confirm it works perfectly. If you're interested in picking one up for your Linux setup, I'll leave a link in the description. This keyboard has been excellent for everything. Gaming when I skip the Xbox controller, effortlessly swapping between my work MacBook and my custom PC, and reducing fatigue during long typing sessions. Overall, this keyboard is a major win for my new desk setup. Of course, let me know in the comments if you have any specific questions or your overall thoughts on this keyboard, or maybe share your own experience with Red Dragon peripherals down below. I greatly appreciate Red Dragon sending this keyboard out. I have sincerely enjoyed using this keyboard daily since unboxing, and as always, thank you for watching, take care, and stay safe.